everybody, this is Farscape, this is season one. This is episode nine and this episode is called DNA Mad Scientist. Do you know, I have to admit, this has quickly become my favourite day of the week <laughs> when I sit down and watch an episode of this. I've got like a, I've got up to seven schedules, so I have like a YouTube schedule, a Patreon schedule, and a watching schedule. But genuinely, when I get to a wedding's day and it's far skip day, I am so happy. I love watching this. I've just warmed to this very, very quickly. I love the characterizations of each character. The acting is brilliant as well, actually. And I laugh so much. I never expected this would be a TV show that would make me laugh as much as it does. And I love that. That's like a surefire way to get me on board is to make me laugh. Anything that makes me laugh or cry, as much as I do cry a lot, I'm sold. I am wondering where this is going to go. Um, this scientist, this mad scientist could literally do anything. I do not know what to expect. I'm just going to get into this episode. Let's go. I really love opening shots of space. I love it. If you wish to blink, now would be the time. Just do it if you're gonna do it. Where are Which we? You is next. You go next. I told you I'm not participating. Reputation. I think it's it the needle in the eye. Amtar, that led us here. Yes, it certainly is an, an honour to meet such a, a learned scientist as... I feel like they're getting like an eye test, but an extreme one. If I were working... Oh. Is it their whole world? genetic database holds information on nearly 11 million species. Oh, wow! It is simple for me to take a genetic sampling of a particular being. Imagine how long some of these guys haven't seen their homes. What you came here for. I love that, a genetic map. Hmm. You want our ship? Oh, My shit. My interest isn't in your ship but in your ship's pilot. What do you want with him? One of your pilot's arms. Yeah, this guy's mad. Oh, well, at least there's a pub. So Namthar didn't have Earth on his data stores. Oh. 11 million species. They, you know, you, you didn't even let him poke you in the eye. You, you don't even know probably if he's got your home world in from. his big ball of wonders. Oh. My home is peacekeeper territories. It's just that I can't yeah. ever go back there. She'll die. Ever. Please, I implore you, just listen. listen to what? I can't believe they're actually doing this. Namtar has offered us something that we cannot obtain anywhere else. <laughs> no! I sense you don't completely trust me, but no. you needn't worry. The crystal will be delivered to your ship. Is there some kind of Frankenstein shit going down? Oh my god. Oh, look at him. Don't concern yourself, Craig. I will be fine. How can you not be angry? I would be fuming. Insanely angry. I really like pilots. species is incapable of space flight on our own. Oh, I think she's pissed off. You have something to say to us? The decision was a hard one, Aaron. These maps are precisely what we've been longing for. Apart from John hasn't got one. Our way home. Pilot will not help you after what you have done. I think you guys have really screwed up. I mean, is they're going home and we're not. Yeah. Oh, God, Rigel can get his throne back. And then it's just you and me. <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm not entirely useless here. What if she doesn't have a home planet? They are going home. And someday, you will too. <laughs> if I find a way home, I'll go with him. You with me. 
me on a planet full of billions of you. <laughs> Just items that I. I hope we do get to see each of these home worlds. Are bartering. What would you have given? That's a good I question. I knew my for the chance to go home. You would pervert Namtar's genius to to a weapon. Why not? It could be made into a weapon. And soon forgotten. What if he's injected something into them? But there are decisions to be made about our course. Who's home first? Still not right. Oh. What? I was here earlier. Yes. What is she course. doing? Oh. Mm. You understand what I'm about to do. Mm. It's like Minority Report. I would need to blink. I knew it. Oh, I don't like this. I, of course, will return home first. You. <laughs> I bargain for the coordinates. Blue ass bitch. <laughs> Blue ass bitch. It appears your crystal is useless. <gasps> Lucky for you, you didn't trade anything of real value to get it. And now they've got something from Aaron. I think the scientist has just wanted Aaron all along. It's like, like a regular family feud up there. It's like she's got a fever. I kind of feel like they're going to just completely start backstabbing each other. No use, Luxon. I assure you, you won't. I have places in this cell that even the peacekeepers has he eaten it. <laughs> Your own people imprisoned you. My leaders imprisoned me. We still don't know why, though. If you return me to my people. Oh, don't drink. Don't drink. It'll make it worse. This is not like what you did to the others. No. Oops. What have you done to me? Please. I don't want to ruin the surprise of phase two for you. Oh, shit. Yes, Officer Son. You in pain, pilot? Nominal. Oh, do you know what I really like their little relationship that they've really kind of wrong. created? Yeah. Mm hmm. She ain't good. I wanted him to find me a place where I could belong. I didn't want to get left behind. <sighs> I'm so scared. How would this even work? <laughs> You know, I'm not really a body breeder. I don't think I could cope if something like that happened to me. There's enough really thoughts in my head as it is. I'm completely losing. <laughs> oh God, it's like a beacon. Are you progressing? Not well. You should be nearing the end of phase two by now. Gestation, probably. Oh my God. He like calls to it. Maybe the only one who can help you. Yeah. Oh, bugger me. Yeah, you're about to be taken away. Well done. So we agreed to take you home to Hyneria. It's lies. We'll find our own way home from there. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he didn't settle this lamp up. You did. Yeah. I was the project leader. He began doing it on his own. He was a test subject. And now we can regenerate. He was one of my laboratory creatures. He knows that I am the only one. Is there? We need a way to help her. Is it necessary to reduce me fully to the final stage? Oh, bugeration. No, just stop. Don't force it. If Rigel leaves, crying. they're going to be stuck on this meteor. Merely asking Rigel to see reason. A deal that you didn't bother to mention to me. That's true. <laughs> we need your assistance. Pilot Without doesn't look happy. I need a tighter scan of each of the last three inert mixtures. If you try to import oh. the maps into the ship's data store, it'll erase everything that's in there. We need to get Rigel. No! You need a story! 
God, imagine how many other people have, like, done this. It was never meant to work. It was a con. I'm here to see Aaron. I'm afraid your friend Aaron is no longer here. Uh, but there is someone else. In her place. Oh. You know of my origins? Yes. Yeah. What I didn't understand then is all species are seeking perfection. You will die. Well, at least we know it worked. Oh, Jesus Christ. The costume and prosthetics on this show is, is actually just amazing. Oh, he's <laughs> a smiley face! What was the worst part? All of it. Sorry, I cut your arm off. Is it healing? It's his way of saying sorry. I think for me, what I really like about this show is we have such a complex character in Aaron, yet when you kind of start peeling back her layers, she essentially is just somebody who, after watching this episode, is just someone who wants to find her her place her identity but what she doesn't realize is she's kind of already got it she's part of this group and she's respected by this group and this is her place yet she feels like she doesn't belong i really like how her character is starting to develop i at this moment in time she's probably my favorite um I do like her character development quite a lot in such a short space of time as well, considering where she was when we met her originally to where she is now. Like She has grown so much as a character and I really like that. This episode for me was an interesting one. It flew by. It didn't feel like a 50 minute episode. It felt like I'd been watching it for about 25 minutes. It wasn't an episode where a lot happened but it was very well written and i enjoyed the kind of minority aspect of it with the eyes and things happening within the eye and aaron having this process affect the way that it did this guy who went from being basically a test subject into a madman i liked that i i liked how this story progressed the further into the episode that we got. I have free time, so I'm probably just gonna go watch the next episode. Um, but for me, this was, I, I actually really enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed watching every episode so far. There's not been an episode where I've thought to myself, oh, could have been a little bit better. I've enjoyed them all for what they are. They're all little self-contained stories moving into other episodes. I've really enjoyed watching these. So I'm going to go watch the next one and I will see you later.